Hello and welcome back to the Hunter Call of the Wild and we've not been here for a while. I think last time out we were out doing the contracts, the missions here on Silver Ridge Peaks, trying to pick off a few little animals as we go along and we're going to be doing much the same again today. I think last time out Bobby Joe Jefferson or Billy Joe Jefferson, whatever his name is, was causing trouble out at the uranium mine which is marked up on our map. It's uh, just under two kilometers away so we'll make our way over there, we'll, we'll see what's going on there, what Billy Bob Joe is doing and yeah, well, if we can uh, find a little something to have a little pop at, we will. So let's get going, let's get into it. Ooh, we got a little something already here. Who's having a shout? Female mule deer having a bark. Our first little area we found is a pronghorn resting, and there's only one of them here anyway, so we're not going to worry about tracking that down. Got bison about. We have got bison about. Well, there's quite a few. Let's get down a little bit, see if we can get closer to them. You know, I'd probably prefer to go for the pronghorn. I don't really want the bear charging me either. She's only a little one. Is we've got bison to our left and pronghorn to the right. Oh, that's, that's in the neck. Sorry, love. She stepped down quicker than I thought she would. Wasn't very clean, wasn't very kind. Let's see where she went. Well, the jam splat is showing that we've got a vital organ, so she's she's down pretty quick. I thought that was worse than that. I thought perhaps I hit her in the neck. We might have got away with that. Now, somewhere up in this hill as well is a, a random boar. Not a random boar, a random <laughs> bison. I shot when I loaded in because it was standing right next to me. It was a terrible shot, but it's. It's died somewhere up in this mountain. So there she is. Oh, it just clipped the top of her lung. That's what it was. Well, thank you very much. So I might see if I can find where that awful kill of a bison went. And then we'll uh, we'll carry on. There it was. Told you it was uh, a bad one. How many... Uh... Oh, just a single hit at base. No, three. Three hits. They were terrible. When I came in, it spawned right on top of it. We'll, uh, we'll take that. That's ammo money, that is. Right, so let's get back to the job at hand. And let's go see what's going on with um, Bobby Joe Jefferson. See if we can find something decent. Now, we haven't had any calls, so I don't think we're in for much luck. But just over this mound of grass in front of us is a watering hole. So we might be able to pick up some old drink zones there. I'm just approaching it a little bit softly, softly, just in case there is anything down there. I don't think there is. I was kind of hoping we might run into the pronghorn that we scared off when dealing with the bear. But they went off in the opposite direction. Yeah, there's nothing around here. So we'll just quickly run around the lake and we'll see if there's any, uh, any drink zones here. Turkey time. That's probably something we should have tried to to get into a little bit of turkey hunting for thanksgiving or something like that but we want to get our eye in for our christmas hunt that's what I, that's what i need to do need to get our eye in ready to do our christmas hunt maybe maybe next year we'll do uh, turkeys for thanksgiving as well there is normally uh, an event for turkeys i'm just not very good at turkey hunting i'm not very good with a shotgun can't pick them off with a single shot rifle so i tend not to worry i don't do a lot of not a fallow hunting, not bird hunting. Not sure if the turkeys fall under fallow, but like I said, I'm just going to do a lap, look to see if there's any footprints about any any old watering hole. I've had animals here in the past on different saves, so you never know. I'm pretty sure that up on that hill somewhere is a, a lookout that we can assemble as well. It's right on the water's edge, so we're going to assemble that. I think we've got enough cash, so we'll build that, and then one day we could maybe get down here and wait, see what turns up, spend a day waiting in the box, in the blind, and uh, probably try and get a pheasant or two right let's go back to uh heading towards the uranium mine that sounds like somewhere we want to be going in a hunting game the uranium mine so we just got a call from a female bighorn not too far away i mean she probably run off they're pretty skittish but that's good if we've got the uh, the bighorn then we're getting closer to um mountain lions as well i think i'm sure it's mountain lions that we have here i'm scared her off she's doing a runner i want to try and see if i can find if she had a zone, or if she was just on her own. I think she was just travelling, by the looks of it. It's like that's her heading one way and then coming out and going the other. So, I think she was on her own. I don't think she was uh, resting or feeding up here. Oh, we've got a, got a herd of them fleeing now. There's quite a few. But they're fleeing from down there. They're not fleeing from me. It's probably the biggest of the females, isn't it? They're all female. 
And she's the biggest. Extremely skittish. Because I don't think it's me that's uh, made them that nervous. So we're about 500 meters away from our desired destination. But we do have a nice body of water out in front. Which will no doubt have some sort of life around it when we get there. Or at least some drink points. So we'll, uh, we'll probably head down there after we've gone to see what Ricky Bobby's up to. Shake and bake. And on our way over we've managed to find a little POI. So we'll uh, give that an inspection. Um, where we go? Pitch blend pit. So this is the uranium mine. So it's just telling us about that. So we are indeed close. All we've seen on our travels since as well is, is one lonely turkey. Now if I remember rightly in the past as well, I've had some nice mule deer from up here. And that was before we had the, uh, the legendaries and all that. So you never know. Okay, first things first. Let's make sure that the mine itself is still secure. Speaking of which, where are you mate? You're always really nervous, really... Really sensitive to sounds and smells. But they are a big part of why I really like SRP. The mule deer. We've got a little uh, camp down there. Is that where Billy Bob Joe is hanging out? Right, so what are we checking on? Let's go have a look. Uh, this looks intact at least. That's got to be a good sign. A trail camera? I've used these for work and for hunting before. This one shouldn't be here though. Someone's we keeping an eye on the mine. So close to the mine. Grab the camera. Another trail camera. Bobby Joe doesn't have a permit to hunt here. Is he poaching? <sighs> Hopefully that's the last one. Pick him up and I'll put him in our lost and found when I can take him from you. Ooh. I don't really understand what's going on with the cameras, but at least the entrance is secure. Let's go find his camp, shall we? It was actually Remy that called this one in. He doesn't know who Bobby Joe is, but I knew who it was as soon as Remy described him. Well, I want to see what he's hoping to find in there. Oh, he's probably collapsed and shut off. There's nothing here. All right, let's just head down to camp, so I guess that is his camp. Well, my mate, the mule deer, is back because he's put out mating calls, so he's up there somewhere. I wonder if he'll come down and have a little drink if we're nice and quiet. That looks like his camp. Sign of him? I, don't know, I was busy uh, looking out for mule deer. I'll go have a look, mate. Just try, try and find something to hunt, if I'm honest with you. Oh, they do come and drink a Rocky Mountain elk. Okay. Just the one. So we've got elk and mule deer. Rifle cartridges. Uh, that's not good news. Binoculars. Maybe he was hunting. Some snacks? Not enough to last a long trip, though. I'm seeing a pretty worrying pattern here. Take a look in the tent. A journal. Maybe this will show us why he's out here. Uh, definitely more signs of activity around the disused uranium mine. Footprints and some superficial damage to the mine entrance. Uh, decided to camp out by the mine. There's been no activity tonight. Going to stay up until dawn. And we'll sleep until lunchtime. I trucked you most of the way towards the mine. I think I can hear something sniffing. It's black tinted windows, da, 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 da. people with knives, pistols, they follow the truck to the edge. Silver Ridge Peaks, but I'm low on fuel, I have to get back to camp. Is Alan Bradley aware of this? Is he in on this? I'm going to need allies to bring this conspiracy to light. But first I need fuel and some breakfast. Okay, so we've got a nut job. That's what we've got. That's our sign. Pick it up, would you? Secret uranium mining. Government conspiracy? <laughs> I'll be honest. I never credited Bobby Joe with this much imagination in high school. Replant the sign, and we're done here for now. You know what makes this extra weird? He actually has done some detective work. Enough to convince himself to camp here. Is that extra weird? Maybe. I don't know. Let's just go put this sign in the ground. Right, stick it in the ground. The sign's back up? Great. 
This mine has never been a problem before, but let's not take any chances. Me and my dad have been dealing with Bobby Joe for years, but this is new. I know he's a nuisance, but I always felt sorry for him. He had a pretty tough upbringing. I don't want to call the police, but I have to. He's armed and known for making poor choices. Oh, Ricky Bobby's going to cause trouble. It would appear that it's not just the neighbors that are making questionable calls today. Sometimes folks from the city will drive out here to get away from work or their personal lives or whatever happens to be bothering them. The problem is that sometimes, quite often actually, people wander into the wilderness without a clue of how to survive if things go wrong. N not that there's anything wrong with that, of course. And based on a couple of phone calls I've had from the hospital today, I think that someone has made a mess and could use some help. I was going to check in on them myself, but I need to coordinate with the police on this Bobby Joe thing, and you're already really close by. Can you head over to the campgrounds nearby and check in on them? The phone calls were sporadic at best. As far as I can tell, this professional yoga and meditation expert has led a group of accountants from Denver into the wilderness on some sort of spiritual retreat. She took their cell phones away from them and had them eating wild flowers and berries. Some of them got sick and have gone directly to the hospital. I know that we're not the reason why this happened, but it could look very bad for us if anyone gets seriously hurt. I'd appreciate if you'd hustle and check it out. Okay, so we'll go have a little look at that for you, mate. I wanted to try and see if I could find that mule deer. He is on his own. He rests here 9 till 12. Well, at least you're locked in, mate. Hiding up in them trees away from me. I'll catch you one day. Somewhere out in front, we've got ourselves a big horn. He's not happy with us. Where are you, mate? Because at the minute, I'll take a random shot because we've not had anything. This has been a huntless hunting video. So he's just sitting and chilling at the minute. So does that mean he's on his own? They're just laying by the road. shoot in the ass did we get a hit because we we're in close but i had that zoned in as, as sort of sure as i could oh yeah down over there so it's just the two boys hanging out by the looks of it i think this was with the right caliber rifle anyway pretty certain it was so a little silver a shot just in just in so i'm going to go a little bit lower I think with that range as well. It was only like 60, 60 metres away, so... Yeah, should have aimed a little bit lower. Lucky enough, we got a, we got a lung. And uh, I believe that is our first bighorn sheep. So we'll keep our eyes and ears peeled for anything else. Quite often you get your bison around here, so that was what I was expecting to, to catch along the river. They're along the river, along the road. Normally stumble across... Herds of bison. So not far from this yuga camp, we've got a, a turkey need zone. There's about six of them up there, apparently. We've had a female bear running off as well. I've heard her flee, and I haven't seen her. This is all turkeys. We've got a male turkey there. Again, not very good at the, at the turkey hunting. But we have arrived at the campsite. Let's hurry up and get this done. That's weird. I expected a lot more activity here. They said they were bringing 20 people. Where is everyone? Is the leader in her tent? She goes by Jim. Jim Bodden. Oh. Can you hear the phones ringing? I can indeed. Uh, I guess we know where she hit them then. The accountants have left. I'm going to send someone to make sure they got back to their cars safely. This is an absolute disaster. 
A bunch of poisoned accountants and a lone woman climbing a non-specific mountain. Next time someone tries to run a retreat out here, I'm gonna make them hire a professional guide. She's expecting the others to meet her at the top of a mountain? Which one? Uh. This is exactly the sort of thing I find myself fighting uphill against. It's hard to get going when stuff like this keeps... <sighs> okay, first things first. We need to figure out where Baden's gone. I'll try to reach some of the accountants back at the hospital. Maybe they can help. I get the distinct feeling that she hasn't packed hiking boots or proper equipment for a climb. Maybe she'll turn back soon. I'll let you know if I hear anything, okay? You do that, mate. Well, at least we're earning money while we do this. Well, where does that leave us? Lingering at the top there. Do any of the jobs, the, the storied missions, actually take you hunting here? So what have we got around? Shall Today we? continues to throw up challenges for us. I have another job for you, and this one is urgent. We received a call from one of our neighbors, Norman, asking if we'd seen his dad, a longtime friend of the reserve. Apparently he's gone missing and he's taken all the family camping supplies with him. Around the same time, two hikers reported to us that they spotted a single old man laden down with gear, heading into a part of the reserve that is known for its bears. When they asked him if he needed any help, he politely declined and kept walking. Their description matches old Ted perfectly. Short white hair, green rain slicker, and brown leather boots. No gun. I'm trying to get a hold of Norman, but he said that he'd make some more calls just in case Teddy's gone to visit friends. I'm just getting his voicemail at the moment. While I sort this out, can you head over to where the hikers saw him and try to follow old Teddy's trail? He knows his way around here, so I have no idea why he'd wander into bear country. Is that it? Is that all you got for me, mate? Am I, am I free to speak now? Okay. So, well, it's quite a hike, isn't it? We'll try and make s some way there. What I was trying to do is look in the map. So if we, if I can hit hit this lookout, or even down there, that might even be a be a hunting lodge. We need to find a lodge so we can travel to. So we're gonna we we'll try and head to this lookout point, and then I think that might be a lodge for us. So let's do that. I'm gonna mark that up for me. Hopefully, we'll uh, we'll find something along the way. But if not, when we go look for Teddy, hopefully there'll be some bears as well. Well, we have found some does. We've got some uh, Rocky Mountain elk. Doesn't look to be a stag near them. Doesn't mean there's not one about, though. Sometimes they're quite widespread. But at least we have another zone marked up. So that's a herd that's, that's down for good. Even if it is a little bit light. Don't particularly want to be picking off females we're not we're not really getting much considering this is you know considered one of the more populated and even i said it when we first came here one of the more populated uh, reserves we've had quite a barren day today and oh what we got up there another female but a mule deer but a female she's just having a rest we'll keep we'll keep triggering them Hopefully more will come. They'll gather up and call in a call in a stag. We're still extremely early days, early days here in SRP. To be fair, with what little time we've spent, you know, I've been going for about an hour and a half today so far. That's not a lot of time to be spending, and we've probably done what two or three other hunts here, if that. So it's just a stump or a log here. Come around the side. So let's see if from another angle if we could get a, get a view of anything else that's with those. No stag. Not that I can see. Yeah, call in a male. Go on, call one in. Have a big boy there for me for next time. Well, I, th I think we found our female bear. 
that I'd been annoying for a while. She sounded super close. That's why I've got the gun out already before I've even seen her. She gave us a call. I didn't hear her run. Let's check the tree line, see if anything pops. She's got a male bighorn here as well. Yeah, where are you, girl? Where are you? I'll take a female bear. Mainly because they don't want to get charged at. I don't think that's the one that's calling us. I think there's two of them. Maybe a couple of sisters. So I can hear one moving about in front. <sighs> Cannot see her. Oh, there she was. I saw the flash. Oh, stand again. Stand again. Let's see if we got anything with that shot. I felt like that was centre. I'm not sure how far away she was, though. Again, my zoning was quite short, so we might even have drop off on that shot. Or I might just hit a tree. Yeah, it looks like we just hit the tree. No splattering at all, which is a shame. She's gone, gone. Well, these things happen. Just call and let me know. A middle deer and a male. See, now it's getting exciting. Oh, they're all around us now. Oh. They came in quick. Oh, we got. Is that a mountain lion? Yeah, we've got a mountain lion coming in. Oh, you swine. Got the bloody elks. Got everything. Wasn't ready. We went from having nothing to having every species on the map on top of us. The mountain lion hasn't said anything else yet, so I don't know if that's still there, if it's gone, or or what. Same spot for the bear. I mean, I should imagine the mountain lion's long gone. Long gone. All that going on. All those animals that just ran up on me. And most of these footprints are for turkeys. Now, before all that happened, I was going to say, shall we... Oh, we're going to head to the lookout tower. I got confused. I was going to say, should we go and look around the wall? But let's hit the lookout tower. I don't think we're going to have any luck with this bear. Oh, still there. How brave are you? How stupid am I? I'm still a bit dubious of where the mountain lion went to as well. That was our elk that ran through. I mean, that, that bear isn't going anywhere. She's just sitting. She's not. She's not got care in the world. The other one's about somewhere as well. There we go. I'm going to run off that way. Well, after all the messing about, finally <laughs> the lookout tower at the Watchtower. And also, just down there, if I bring up my um, hunter mate, see i was tracking i found some blood trails so i must have hit that bear but i it's it's all the way up here and it's only down to like 50 percent bleed out so I, i'm not sure if she's actually going down if she has she's gone a long way but let's hit this because what i really want now is the hunt lodge
So it was. The hunting lodge is down there. We've also got one over there. They're pretty close together, aren't they? You can see we've not. Considering we, we came in down here. And across, we did that one. We forgot to hit that hunting lodge. We've hit that one. Today, we went up and around and down. So that was that was a kill for us. So it was three, three kills. So I have took the bear out. The bear's gone down wherever she is, bless her. So let's, I want to go back to the water and hit that hunting lodge. I spy with my little eye a pheasant. <laughs> or a turkey, sorry, not pheasants. You call them pheasants, they're not, they're turkeys. So five kilos. Five kilos, just females again. I was excited, I saw stuff on white skulk across down the bottom there. I thought we had an albino or something, but we don't. Oh, we've got a, got a tuft here, though. So that is probably <laughs> for them turkeys. There's five of them about here. We've heard a lot of them, so that's not a surprise. How is this bear still standing around here? Of all that has gone on, where are you? There. How far away? I don't think she's interested in standing up. We've got big horn as well. Like four hundred meters away. Do you think I can get her from here within the shoulder? She's a run-in. She's a run-in. You're all right, girl. You're all right. You're all right. You're all right. You're not worried about little old me. In the shoulder. Come on. There we go. I think that was a pretty decent shot. That's what I was hoping for. Actually, I was trying not to hit the scapula, but we've got scapula straightening down the lung. Apologise for anything you can hear in the background. My son is not having it that it's nap time. Yeah, we'll take that. At least at least we've got something, and we haven't had many kills, so uh, we'll take that. Right, let's head out to the lodge. I've marked up on the map, as you can see. Let's get to the lodge. Let's probably put the big gun away. We'll get the little one out, just in case the turkey does uh, step up on us. I'm definitely not going to hit one in flight. The big horns, they shouldn't have heard us. So they should be alright where they are. You could even grab a big horn on the way in. You never know. So over there, we're looking at about 290. Got about 300 on us. There's a few. If I can... I can't get the others to, uh, to mark up, unfortunately. But it is a male. Oh, wait there. There's one, so it's 117, 112. Any more for any more? I'm sure there was some more. How good or bad do you think that was? Let's go find out. I've checked the map and he's down, so that's good. We also have a blind that we can put up here. So we might put a blind up just for the pheasants. The fe I keep calling the pheasants the turkeys. Because they're quite happy to keep fluttering about here. Plus, obviously we've got a big horn drink zone. That won't be destroyed with just the one gone. I will spend some pennies on just sticking that up. Oh, it's a proper one as well. I like that. Nice. Oh, he's down on the spot. Well played me. Tip thy hat. So there's three more of them still here as well. So, I don't think it's going to be very big, but... At least, at least as a male, a silver. That was the sort of shot I was aiming for as well. That weren't bad. I'll take that. Double lung through the scapula. The uh, the Zara ten three away is a is a nice rifle. Lovely. Start to get a few animals now. Then it's not as fruitless as I was uh, worried it was going to be. So let's hit our hunting lodge. More turkeys and a male for a change.
perhaps one day I'll do some turkey hunting and you can see how bad I am at it. <laughs> Worse than this hunting. Well, there we've now got ourselves another fast travel and facilities unlocked, which is sort of what we needed. So now we can call it a day here for our hunt. And then next time out, we'll, we'll head over and sort out what's going on with old man Tommy. And uh, maybe try and pick off another bear and some more some more big horns. I think that bear's followed us. It's not happy. <laughs> oh dear. Yeah, we're going to call that it for today. Hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, give a big fat thumbs up down below. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. Turn the bell notification on. Find it when new videos are going live. There's always comments and feedback down there. You guys have a wonderful day. And hopefully I'll see you again soon. Bye bye.